If you're wondering what Craig takes out to events to photograph and promote himself within his work, you can see below that there's a lot of stuff. And a lot of people ask about what are the good things to take when going out to document an event or out on the field. So as you can see, it's quite a lot of stuff, but even for a little person like me, it's not too much to handle. Um, It's a lot of stuff, but it all, what's so great about this belt is that it all fits in nicely and you're able to access everything that you need when you need it. As you can see, you know, the camera, which is one of the most important things, are right at the front. You have your phone right at the front belt buckle, as well as a pen to write down people's names for the events and stuff. You also have like your on-camera flashes, other recording devices, extra storage in the back for batteries, and I think this is like a... That's where the mic goes. Oh, that's where the mic goes. Yeah, the mic you got. You got to hold the mic up to your hand, to your mouth. It can't do anything. Oh. So that's where the mic goes. Yeah, this is exactly where the mic goes, as you can see. <laughs> um, it's just really convenient. And actually, the camera that this is being shot with right now goes in one of those bags. Oh, awesome. So, like... Like um, like he said, you know, a lot of this stuff can be fit, but what's great is that you have everything at your convenience, so you're not lacking anything, and as you can see, you don't need to wear anything too specific to do it. If you're out on a hot day, you can wear shorts, you can wear pants, whatever you need to wear to document your event, you have everything at your, at your fingertips. Thanks, Audrey. What, by the way, when is your show? My show is every Monday at 9 p.m. Eastern Time at Hooping Live. You can see a little bit about what I do in my free time, which is hula hooping. And if you have no idea what it is, I highly suggest you come check it out. Do you want me to say anything about, like, Hangout 10 or, like, Frederick Weekly? Um, that's good. We're good. Okay. All right. Stand by. Okay. So here I am. I'm riding the Segway, and you can see I've got this gear, and this is how I cover events. I have to carry all the gear with me on my person. I like to have it around my waist. I don't like to have it on my shoulders. I don't like to have weight pulling on my shoulders. I like to have my hands free so I can do what I need to do. Now, I also have these two receptacles here. I can actually put a tripod, a lightweight tripod in here. I have a Gorilla Pod on this side right now. And I can also carry an extra lens in here if I have to. Normally, for most events, I make a decision, am I going to use the 70 to 200 lens, which is right here, or am I going to use a 24 to 70 lens? So I have to make that call when I go out to cover the event. Sometimes I will take both lenses, but usually I'll decide on the one I want based on the event and how far the action is going to be for me. If I want to be close to the action, I'm going to use the 24 to 70 f2.8 lens. If it's a little bit further away, I'm going to use this 70 to 200 f2.8 lens. Now, you can see I have a spider holster here on the side that holds it very securely. This think tank system is tight around my waist so that, again, I can draw these items quickly and shoot and park them back where they need to be. So my hands are always free. If I need to shoot a video clip, I can pull the Sony NEX VG10 out and I can immediately start shooting a video clip. And I like the form factor of this camera as opposed to shooting with a DSLR because this is much easier to hold steady and I can use this uh, Segway as a steady cam if it's a parade situation. I'm going along with a parade, I can go along nice and steady with this and I can shoot my clips. You can't always lock down with a tripod. Some events they won't even allow you to bring a tripod. So you have to have a camera that you can hand hold most of the time. Also this mic array on the front of this camera will pick up audio, do a pr pretty good job of picking up audio. So if you can't mic somebody, you can use this mic array here and it's the next best thing. Of course, I'm mic'd right now with the Sennheiser mic. I haven't even tried to hide it. You can see the cord coming up here. I have a Sennheiser wireless mic that's going to my Sony NEX7, which I normally carry as well. The NEX7 is normally in this pouch right back here. Okay, so this is where the NEX7 would be and this is where the Sennheiser wireless mic system would be if I wasn't using it right this moment. So I can carry that with me at all times as well. The beauty of having the NEX7 handy is it shoots 60 frames a second and, and I have the Zeiss f1.8 lens on there so that that way I can shoot in lower light situations if need be. So this is, this is my setup and um, I want to thank Audrey for introducing all of this. And by the way, in the back back here, 
I just have some extra batteries and I have a Zoom H1 recorder with a uh, giant squid mic on there if I want to mic somebody with that. So I have some other gear that I carry back here in the back that I don't use very often. Of course, the gear that I use all the time is right here very handy. One thing that's important I do want to mention is this mic right here. This I can quickly pull out, I can hand to somebody, and I can plug it into this Sony NEX VG10, and therefore they can be mic'd close. So if it's a noisy situation and I want them mic'd, we can use this mic. This is an SM57 mic. I also have an SM58 that I use sometimes. This is a six-foot cord, and this adapter cable takes it right into the Sony NEX7 or my NEX VG10 right here. I can hook this mic right in. So we can make things happen rapidly. Take a look on my YouTube channel. I have about 1,700 videos up there. Take a look at those. The ones from the last year or so have better audio because I've been putting better audio into the system. That's why I'm carrying these mics and all this extra gear so that we can get some audio that is a little more acceptable. So I hope you all have found this helpful. And um, hey, follow me on YouTube, youtube.com slash area cable. And thanks again to Audrey. And Audrey, you can check her out Monday nights at 9 p.m on the Hooping Live show, that's hoopinglive.com. And my website, of course, is craigship.com. Go on over there and there's links to all of my media. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching. And thanks, Rock, for helping out behind the camera. Hey everyone, and welcome to, wait, what am I saying welcome to? Um, we're going to give them a tour of our kit that we use to cover events. Okay. Hey everyone, and welcome to the event tour kit review.